Okay. These so-called non-doms, like Lord Rovermere, avoid more than four billion pounds tax per year. Hello, mate. I just wondered, does Lord Rothmere live here, please? So you want to speak to him? I'd love to speak to Lord Rothmere, yeah. What's your name again? Say it's Russell Brand to speak to Lord Rothmere. Say it's about uh, living here and taxes. You can acquire a domicile. You can also lose it. Hello, I One just... One moment, please. I thought this is the base telephone. OK, I just wanted to ask if Lord Rothmere lives here. Does he pay his taxes in England, do you know? I don't know. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I don't know either. Like, because if he's domiciled here, he should pay taxes here. I just wondered, one, did he pay inheritance tax on the 1.5 billion uh, when he inherited the Daily Mail off his dad, whose name was also Lord Rothmere, by coincidence? And also, if it's true that he runs the Daily Mail out of Bermuda, which is a tax haven, and controls it from Jersey, which is also a tax haven. Hello? Lord Rothmere? Lord Rothmere. Jersey, where Rothmere hides his cash, has $400 billion of assets in trusts. As part of the austerity cuts, this government introduced a so-called bedroom tax. It affects half a million people. If non-doms like Rothmere paid their tax, then we wouldn't need a bedroom tax at all. 